Hi everyone, so today we need to get right into it because I'm going to be reviewing the entire Dries Van Noten line. I bought the sample set, no one put me up to this. I just really love this designer and I thought the bottles were so beautiful and I have been having kind of a hectic weekend. I wanted to have a chill video with you guys where we can just chill and smell fragrances together. So this is the Dries Van Noten sampler I bought and we are going to be doing first impressions of the whole line. So I'm really excited. Um, there are two of these that I have smelled already and worn and love. Um, so you'll see that as we go through it, but the rest of these I haven't really given a proper smell to and we're just gonna go through it together. All right, let's go. I wanna keep this video under 10 minutes and so that's like a fragrance a minute. Okay, so first of all, let me just show you guys what it looks like. There are two missing, those are the two that I've been wearing, but it's really pretty. Um, and the colors here are a reflective of the bottles. And I'm just gonna show you the little thing that comes in it. So you can see the bottles are super, super cute and beautiful, and I really like what he's done with them. And let's begin. Okay, so first up here, we have Jardin de l'Orangerie. Uh, and the two notes, what I like is they mention the two main fragrance notes, which I love because honestly, like first whiff, you're not getting like 10 things at once most of the time. It's like one or two clear notes that stick out at you. So I love that they just kind of put that there so you immediately know the vibe of the fragrance. So this one I believe is Orange Blossom and Sandalwood. Accurate. Orange Blossom Sandalwood. The Orange Blossom here is almost leaning gourmand, um, but gourmand meets white florals. I also get a really gardenia vibe to this Orange Blossom. And a little bit of petty grain too, which is like the leaves and the twigs of the um, orange plant. Um, and then a lot of creaminess. So it's almost like this petty grain turns into a sandalwood. It's really nice. Again, I don't know if that's intentional or not. It's a nice fragrance. It's not to my taste personally. I think because the market is so oversaturated with orange blossoms for women anyways. Um, and there are just so many beautiful orange blossom fragrances that I like more than this one. But it's a well done fragrance. It's really nice. It's orange blossom. It's sandalwood. If you like those type of things, it's worth a sniff. Then after that, we have Fleur du Mal which I believe is a poem by Baudelaire. And the main notes here are supposed to be Osmanthus and Suede, and I'm excited because I love both of those notes. Yeah, I love this. It's exactly how it's supposed to be portrayed. Super elegant. I'm only getting two things right now, Osmanthus and Suede. If you don't know what Osmanthus smells like, essentially it smells like apricots. We have a tree at Jividon, and when it's in bloom, it's actually in bloom right now. All you can smell is like apricots for like 20 meters around. So if you like the idea of an apricot suede, incredible. Also, this one's super unisex. I would say the Jardin de l'Orangerie was leaning more feminine. It was a really sweet orange blossom. Okay, now we're getting to my empty spots on here. And so I think here was Rock the Myrrh. I love this fragrance. It's a really true labdanum fragrance, funny enough, even though it's called Rock the Myrrh, I really get a lot more labdanum from it. But it's just this really refreshing, ambery fragrance. Not because it has like citrus notes or marine notes to make it refreshing. They were just able to add so much lift to this amber. Next up, we have Voodoo Child. which is supposed to be a rosemary patchouli. Mm. Hot. This one is super masculine. It is rosemary. I get more sandalwood than patchouli. I'm going to say that if you're not a patchouli fan, don't let that bother you. It's like an aromatic sandalwood. Really creamy, creamy wood. Also very interesting to have something so aromatic with something so creamy. It's unisex, but I personally find rosemary to be very masculine, so I couldn't wear it. But if you like aromatics, definitely try the Voodoo Child. Mm. 
San Pellegrinery. So I was just okay about it. And then I realized it smells like one of my all time favorite rose perfumes, which is Pastum Rose by Ode to Italy. And I think for me, this fragrance is a dry woody rose. I know the note list says sandalwood and fig. I don't get either of those from this guys. I'm gonna be super honest with you. I get dry, woody, almost like cedar. It could be sandalwood, but it's in between the two and something more rosy than figgy. So if you're looking for a figgy sandalwood, go to Felosicos. But if you want a dry rose, a really good dry, almost incensey rose, the Santal Granary is really, really good. Cannabis patchouli. This is the most cannabis fragrance I have smelled so far. Granted, I do not smoke cannabis, but I grew up in San Francisco and it's everywhere and you smell it everywhere. And I smelled black Afghano and I didn't get cannabis. Here I get cannabis, so kudos. I don't know who the perfumer behind this is, but they really captured the smell and it's pleasant. And I'm not someone that normally likes the smell of cannabis, but so, you know, take that with a grain of salt, but it is very pleasant for my cannabis fragrance. I really wasn't expecting to like that as much as I did. Raving Rose. This is great. Actually, if you like, um, it's almost a mix of lipstick rose, like the fruity violet part of lipstick rose and Oon Rose, both by Frederick Mall. But then both of those I think have pretty good like performance. And this one, it's it seems like it's gonna be more moderate, I would say, but it is a nice mix of those two. And those are obviously both Rose masterpieces. So if you like Rose, I say Raving Rose is absolutely worth a sniff. Now we have Rose Carnivora. This one's very simple. This one and the Jardin de l'Orangerie, I'd say are the simplest one where it's really just the two, two notes playing. They're fine, they're well done, there's no rough edges, you could wear this, no one's gonna say you don't smell good. But also, I think that's what it is. The Rosa Carnivora is nice, but I feel like it's gonna be really delicate. I don't know if people are gonna be able to perceive it on you. Just from the smell on the blotter, huh? Okay, up next we have Neon Garden, which is supposed to be mint and iris. I like this idea, I like strange combinations. Like that Osmanthus suede was really good, the Fleur du Mal. Okay, I get a lot of iris and just a little bit of mint. It's actually a really good combination, but I want this fragrance to be louder. It's not giving me the projection that I want off of the, um, the paper. And the last spot um, is a fragrance that I've been wearing and it's Soi Malake. It's supposed to be chestnut and silk and obviously silk doesn't really smell much, um, but it does have this like nuttiness, this woodiness, vanilla and amber, and it's delicious. Actually, it smells really, really good, and it was a love at first sniff for me, and it's also my favorite bottle of the collection, but at least on me, and I've, I've seen other reviewers say differently, I'm not getting a lot of performance from it, neither in longevity nor projection, so while it's a beautiful fragrance, yeah, it's very ephemeral. I wear my sample, but I never smell myself after three hours. The ones that I've been wearing the most are the Swamelike. Unfortunately, like I said, it is a bit delicate. Rock the Myrrh is just awesome. It has great performance, great longevity, beautiful bottle. Um, and I also want to give more of a try to the Fleur du Mal, but I have a feeling it's these apricotty notes like on my skin, I think it just eats them always. So I don't think I'm gonna get the projection out of that that I want. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, yeah, let me know if you've tried any of the Dries Van Noten and if so, which are your, favor your favorites and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.